Good morning, day two of Vlogmas. My name's Sam and you're watching So Let's Sparkle with Sam. So it is 7.30 and it is Saturday and it is day two of Vlogmas and I am on my way to work shortly. Um, but I thought I'd just pop on first, say hi and do my day two shrub before I leave you with the as promised day two tutorial which is for my face wipes and a little pouch. So um, I've pre-recorded the tutorial, but there's a few things. I, I was re-watching it yesterday and just kind of doing some last minute editing to it and stuff. And there was a few things that I hadn't mentioned in the video. So I thought I'd talk about it now. So the dimensions for the pouch, um, I'm going to pop down below so that you've got them all written down. But I do mention them in the video, but I am going to write them down underneath as well. Um, and then it's to make the little pouch with a popper on. And then inside there are seven wipes. Now for a pouch and seven wipes, in fact, you get eight wipes out of it. But one of the squares ended up being a little bit shy. Um, you can get that from a fat quarter. So this is a great way of using up your fat quarters. Now the toweling that you use, you can use any toweling. You can use an old towel. I use a bamboo toweling, but unfortunately I bought mine from Plush Fabrics um, a little while ago. And unfortunately they don't trade anymore. Um, but I haven't, <laughs> I haven't had to buy any more because... Um, before they ceased trading, they had quite a good sale and I managed to get five metres and five metres has, has lasted me a really long time because you don't really use that much of it. Um, as I said, a fat quarter gets you the pouch and the um, wipes. So it's not even a fat quarter for one set of these. So it does last quite a long time. But yeah, you can use any toweling. And the seam allowance that I use is a quarter of inch throughout. And the reason that I do that is because um, I just use the guide on my fit foot, on my sewing machine foot. Because I find when you're going around squares, that's the easiest way to get a nice, neat line. Obviously, if you're a beginner sewer and you think, oh, actually quarter of an inch isn't quite enough for me. I need a little bit more. Just make, just, just size it up. Just make it a little bit bigger, um, and then that will, that will suffice. But yeah, there's my little pouch, and um, and this is the the rest. As I said, I've got oh, I've got some scraps on it. This is the rest of my bamboo terry toweling. Um, so yeah, I've got I've got plenty to keep me going for now but I will have to find a new supplier so if anyone knows um of any good places that you can get good quality not ridiculously expensive bamboo cotton jersey from let me know <laughs> so day two day one beyond the pink door oh big news if you haven't watched Andrea from beyond the pink doors day one vlogmas go and watch it she has some big news. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, but you should go and watch it. You should definitely, in fact, watch this and then go and watch that. Very important. Um, and then, yeah, so I then this morning had day two. Now, day two for the Beyond the Pink Door advent calendar is on the ebook. So if you get the subscription boxes, you'll know all about the ebook. Um, and you send you a little card, you have a little QR code that you scan with your phone on the camera, then it opens it up. And you and Andrea kind of it's normally a video included, but lots of information about the fabric and stuff. Um, well, she's done the same for the even days. So day two today, a video popped up and it was a really nice kind of um, little tutorial on how to cover snap fasteners, you know, if you're making a fancy dress or something. So I think that's a lovely idea because it's absolutely priceless people giving you their expertise. I think, I think it's such a lovely, I mean, we all love physical gifts, you know, everyone loves a candle and everyone loves a little pack of something and we all love physical things, but actually, that gift of knowledge and that gift of skill is 
in my opinion, priceless. So I love it when people share that. So I really enjoyed that today. So I'll just leave you, I think, with the tutorial. Now, if I manage to get any filming done today, oh, it's Christmas jumper day, by the way. I'm going into work today and we've got um, children's Christmas workshop. So I thought it was time for a Christmas jumper. This is the quickest jumper I've ever made in my life. I made it last night. It took me 40 minutes, if that. Um, I had to cut, as you can, can you see on here, um, I didn't quite have enough um, fabric for the full sleeves, but I wanted it to be full sleeves because it's cold. Um, so yeah, it is a bit of a mash together jumper, but I love it. <laughs> and it's the Nina Lee Southbank sweater. But on Wednesdays during my Vlogmas, I am going to be doing uh, what I wore through Vlogmas on a Wednesday. So don't worry if you miss any details, I will fill you all in. So without further ado, here is my tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. Have a lovely day. See you soon. So here is my really, really simple face wipe and face wipe pouch tutorial. So what you need is you're going to need two six inch squares of fabric and two nine by six inch squares of fabric and that is for your pouch also for your pouch i'm going to be using liberty fabrics so i've got a little piece of liberty ribbon and you are also going to need a set of snaps so you're going to need an innie and an outie and two cover for your snaps and then for the face wipes itself you're going to need four and a half inch squares of your outer fabric and then your toweling fabric. You can use old towels, you can use terry toweling, you can use um, cotton flannel. Um, I've This is lovely bamboo toweling, um, which I find is really nice and nice and soft on the face and it gets the makeup off. So that is what I'm going to be using for those. So we'll start with the face wipes because it's super simple. So you get a piece of your cotton, you put your toweling on top and then you sew all the way around using quarter inch seam but leaving a gap like that. And then you turn it and then you sew all the way around the outside. And then once you have done that, So you've turned it all the way right around and then you're going to sew it all the way around the outside again to finish them off. And that's the face wipes, simple as. So for the pouch, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the pocket. So if you do want to put a label on the pocket, what you need to do is you need to decide which is your front pocket and then an inch up from the bottom. So fold it in half so you can find the center. And then center of your label. And then an inch up from the bottom, you are going to stick on your label. Now I've just used some double-sided quilting tape. Now for this, you just iron it on and then you peel off the paper off the back. And then if you add a little bit of heat, it will temporarily stick it into place. Okay, and then you're going to pop that to the sewing machine and you're going to zigzag around the edge or sew around the edge to secure that on.
once you've zigzagged that on, you're going to pop that on top. So, and then top stitch. So now you've got your pocket, what you need to do is you need to get your two nine inch pieces. You're going to need to get your two nine inch pieces and you're going to fold them in half and you're just going to round the corners off now if you wanted to you could get yourself your tape or whatever it is that you want to round your corners always but to be honest i tend to just round it off by eye and just kind of take off the corner like that I think my rotary cutter might need a new blade. <laughs> okay. So once you've done that, you take one piece, you put your pocket piece on top, and then you take this piece and put it right sides together. And then you can pin all the way around or clip. And we're going to sew all the way around, but we're going to leave a gap at the top just there. Then once we've done that, I'm just pinking sheared the edges. And then I'm just going to roll this gap here. I'm just going to roll it down. And just finger press that seam open. And then I'm going to turn it through. like so and you'll want to just push your fingers right in so you've got all of your edges out and probably now is a good time to go and give it a good 
press. And then what you'll want to do is you'll want to take it to your machine and you'll just want to top stitch around the flap here and then that will close up your pouch. Okay. So if you didn't want to round the edges, you could do it just with the square edges, the square corners, and then it would look like that. So it's entirely up to you how you want it to look. And then the last thing you need to do is you need to pop your poppers on. So I fold my pouch in half to find the middle, like so, and then I poke a hole in the middle and I make sure that I poke it through that bit and also make a mark underneath. Sorry for the shaking of the table, but to make the marking. And then you've got your mark for both of your poppers, snaps, whatever you want to call them. And then in this one, you'll want to put your inny snap. And on this and the top one, you'll want to put your outy snap. And then whatever snap tool that you have, you're going to use that. Mine, you just make sure that the outside of your snap is in the base plate and then you push quite hard. <laughs> I remember the first time I got this, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to do this with two hands, but I kind of got the hang of it now. <laughs> and then that should just snap in nice. It didn't make a snap, but it, ah, there you go. It did make a snap. <laughs> and then the face wipes fit neat, neatly inside so there you have it